Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, Cal Day. We are just starting one day early because the video turned out to be a bit long. So we're just gonna be doing this, the first five rows today. So that's gonna be part two of the Cal. And the next, from row six to row 13, tomorrow. So grab your hook, grab your yarn, get a cup of tea, get comfy. Let's go, cow time. So I've got all my things ready. I have my yarn from the top down to the bottom. I have my pattern printed out, my crochet hook. I am using natural cotton, which is a size three thickness. Recommended needle size is four, so I'm using a five millimeter hook. I have my uh, scissors. A needle's handy if I need it, but I won't be needing it soon for this cowl part. And I also have printed off uh, a really big chart. So this is available on our Facebook group. It's a, just a PDF download. Uh, this is the same chart that comes with a silky turhorse's pattern. It's this pattern she has here. It's her chart. It's everything. I've just cut out each round, or each row, so it's easier to keep track of where you are if you're new to charts. So if you know charts, then this is fine. And if you have a color printer, then these are alternating rows of red and blue. So that's very helpful. Um, if you are new to charts, I suggest printing off this one because you can see, uh, it's a lot easier to see what you're doing per row. So, and this is on our Facebook uh, group. I will put a link in the description box below. So let's get started. So these are the symbols you're going to need to recognize for the chart. Uh, the biggest stitch is treble crochet, and it is basically a T with two sticks going across it. There's also double crochet, with, which is a T with one stick going across it, and then chain, which is just a little circle, slip stitch, which is uh, like a dot, and start is just a triangle. So this we're only going to see one time, and then the rest we're going to be uh, looking for these symbols here. So row one, and every row that you start, you're going to look for these dots. Well, for this one, we're going to do our, we're going to start here where it says start, which is chaining, slip stitch, and then chain four. So let's just do that. So get your yarn and make your slip knot. You don't need to leave a long tail because we're going to crochet over it and we're going to cut it off. So we don't need to use a needle. for this one. So slip stitch onto your hook and chain one, two, three, and four. So we're going to chain four for our center ring. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to slip stitch that together. So you're going to slip stitch into the first chain. Oops. to make a ring. And I'm just holding it open with my thumb and my finger so I can keep track of that center. Now it says chain four. One, two, three, and four. So we'll chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now it says to put two double crochets into this first stitch, but for this first round we're going to be working everything into the ring. So don't worry about these stitches or putting them into your chains. Everything's going to go into the ring. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five double crochets, a chain one, and one, two, three, four, five double crochets and one treble crochet at the end. So we're going to start with a chain equivalent to a treble and we're going to end with a treble. So let's do five double crochets into the center of the ring. Now take care 
to go into the ring. So you're going to wrap your yarn and go into the center of that ring and make sure your tail is curled over with your ring so you're working over it at the same time. So five double crochets into the ring. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do our chain one, chain one, and now our five going back along this side five double crochets into the ring. One, two, three, four, and five. And one triple crochet because that T has two sticks going across it. So that one is a treble crochet. So wrap your yarn twice and one treble crochet into the center of the ring, still going over your tail. So that is round one finished, or row one finished. And here is row two. And how you're doing your chart for your row two, or for all your rows, you're going to look for where the the chains are, these circles, that's where you're going to be starting. So it says again to chain four and then two double crochet into that same stitch or the top of this first treble. You can tell that because how they're pointing. They're pointing into the same spot as where you did your chain. So for your chain and these two double crochets are in the same stitch which is the top of the treble from the previous row. So let's just do this part here. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. Now it's this first stitch right here, the top of that treble crochet. So our chain four and then our two double crochets into the same spot you made your chain four, which is the top of the treble. So we did our chain four, so turn your work. And two double crochets right into this first stitch. Two double crochets. Because we turned our work, the top of the stitches are a little bit after the post. So here's the post and over here is the stitch that goes along with the post. So now we're going to do one double crochet into each stitch going back to the chain one spot. So I just do one side, I do the beginning, then we'll do the side, then we'll do the end, we'll do the side, and we'll do the end. So kind of break it up into chunks. So now we're going to be doing the side. So not that, and we finished that. So we're going to be doing these stitches, which are double crochets, one into each stitch going up to the chain one spot. And there'll be five of them. One, two, three, four, five. So, one, oops, two, three, four, and five. So this stitch here, this is the one that you can skip because it also looks like, oh look I'm finished, I'm going to go into my chain one spot. But just remember the top of the stitch is a bit after the post so that little hole there is a stitch. You've got to go into that one. If your stitch count is off, go and check that you went into this stitch because that one can be easily forgotten. So now we're at the chain one spot. The chain one spot we're doing two double crochets, a chain one and two double crochets all into the same spot and we know it's all into the same spot because they're touching at the bottom. So where they're touching at the bottom means you make them also touching at the bottom which means into the same spot or the same stitch. 
it's on top of this little circle which is a chain so that means it's into the chain space usually so two double crochets into the big space here one and two and our chain one and then two more double crochets into the same spot one and two so that's this part finished now we're going to work back along the side five double crochets one into each stitch so and remember that the stitch is a little bit after the post so these ones are easy to see three four and the last one here is five. Oh, my yarn's a bit splitty don't want that there we go Oop. into the chain so after the last stitch into the chain which is over here into the first chain we're going to do two double crochets and a treble crochet it's a bit difficult to see but it has two sticks going across the T it's also a tiny bit taller but two double crochets and a and a treble crochet into the top of that chain four of the previous round so to get to your chain I just kind of twist it up so I can see that V a little bit better and I just poke in. I want two loops on my hook and one underneath. Ooh, you can see that. Two loops on your hook and then that's where I make the spot. So one double crochet, second double crochet, and then wrap your yarn twice for your treble. So with this pattern, you're going to end your rows just about always with a treble crochet and you're going to start them just about always with a chain four. So that is the end of row two. Row three, we start by looking for our chains. So they're here. It doesn't matter where they are on your pattern or you or just always look for the for the chains that start your row so it says chain four and one double crochet into the same stitch because that that double crochet symbol the T with the one cross one line across it is t is touching the first chain so you're going to make the chain and that double crochet into the first spot which is the top of your treble crochet because that's how it lines up so we'll do our chain four one two three and four turn your work and it's this first stitch here that's the top of your treble so you're going to make one double crochet into that stitch the first one and then chain one because there is a chain one here and then a double crochet into the very next stitch so one double crochet into the next stitch and then chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, all the way back until we get to this chain one spot again. So chain one, skip one, double crochet into the second stitch, chain one, wrap your yarn, skip one, so not into the next stitch, into the second stitch, double crochet, so we're making like these little windows. So we're going to chain one. I know I haven't changed one, chained one because there's two loops on the yarn underneath my hook. Can you see those two loops? So if you've chained, there's only one loop under your hook. So that's how you can always know if you've chained or not. So skip a stitch into the second stitch, double crochet, chain one, wrap your yarn, 
double crochet into the second stitch which is also the last stitch before the chain one. Now into the into the chain one space we're going to chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and chain one. So chain one, double crochet into the chain one space, so into that hole, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and now we're over here. So into the very first stitch after the chain one, we're going to make a double crochet. So that means it's the stitch right after the first post. So right down in here is your first double crochet. And now you're going to do the same thing, chain one and skip a stitch into the second stitch, double crochet, chain one, wrap your yarn, skip a stitch, double crochet into the second stitch, chain one, wrap your yarn, double crochet into the second stitch, chain one, wrap your yarn, double crochet into the second stitch. So now we've made windows going all the way back along the last side. We have our chain left and we always have to do something with our chain. So now we'll look at our pattern. It says chain one, double crochet and treble crochet into the chain. So chain, chain one, wrap your yarn. I just turn that chain towards me a bit so I can poke my hook in. I just want to leave one strand behind and get the other two on my hook. So double crochet, wrap your yarn twice, treble crochet into the same spot, which is the top of that chain four of the previous round. So there is round three finished. And you can see we're starting to get a nice little shape. Row four. So again, look for your chains. That's where you're going to start. So here's our chains on this side now. So chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. Two double crochets into the same spot as the chain four, which is the top of your first stitch. So two double crochets. Oops into that very first stitch, that very first one there, right into the stitch, two double crochets, one and two, one double crochet into the next stitch, and then one double crochet into the space, one into the stitch, one into the space, one into the stitch, one into the space, all the way back until we get to our chain one. So we could do that. So into the space, the little windows you made, one double crochet, oops, get into the space, there we go, and then one into your stitch, one into the space, into your window, one into your stitch, Oops. splitting yarn again, there we are, into the window, into the stitch, into the space, into the stitch. into the space, into the stitch. Into the space, we're not quite at our chain one yet. Into the stitch, that's our last stitch before the chain one spot. You can see your chain ones, the center of your shawl lines up. 
So just kind of stretch it out, take a look, make sure you don't want to get off center. You want to make sure that your center always stays true. And then check what we're supposed to do. So it says two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets all into the same chain one spot because all those uh, double crochets are touching at the bottom, which means you also make them touching at the bottom by putting them all in the same stitch or space. We're going to be put the, putting them into a chain one space because right on top of that dot, not dot, circle. So into the space, two double crochets, one, two, and a chain one, and two more double crochets into that same spot, one, and two. Now here's your first stitch and remember that the stitch is a little bit on the other side of your post after it. So one double crochet into the stitch, one into the space, one into the stitch. My yarn's a bit splitty. Nope. If your yarn's splitty like mine, take your time because it'll look messy if you rush. There we are. And one into the space, one into the stitch. Oh, I did it again. Oh, there we go. One into the space, one into the stitch, one into the space, and the stitch. and the space. And the stitch, almost, into the space. And here's our last stitch, one into the stitch. My yarn's not behaving. Okay. Now we'll check the pattern, what it wants us to do, into the chain of the previous row, or the previous, yeah, the previous row, is two double crochets and one triple crochet into the top of that chain four. So I'm going to turn my chain a bit towards myself, so I can kind of see the stitch a bit better, and then poke my hook in, getting two loops on my hook, and then double crochet double crochet, so two double crochets, and one treble crochet, so wrap your yarn twice into the same stitch, the same t chain stitch. So there's two double crochets and a treble into the same spot. And that is the end of row four. Here we are at row five, so look for your circles, your chain stitches. They're here on this side for this row. So we're going to do four chains. One, two, three, and four. And turn our work. And it says to do two double crochets into the same stitch, the first stitch, so two double crochets. So that's that very first stitch at the bottom there, so two double crochets, one and two, and then one double crochet into each stitch, going all the way back to the chain one space. So that's pretty easy. One double crochet into each stitch, going all the way back to the chain one spot. So this part I'll speed up because I know you know how to get into, I know, how, I know you know how to make a double crochet into each stitch. Now remember when you get to the chain one area, remember that this last stitch, the stitch is just a little bit past that post. So you still have one more stitch to go into. This one here is still a stitch. 
So make sure you don't drop that guy. Now you're at your chain one space. Chain one space, it says two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets into the chain one space. So two double crochets into that space, one, two, chain one, one, and two into the same spot. So we're just building that tip of our shawl, the part that's going to go down your back. And now it says one double crochet into each stitch going all the way to the end. So I'll speed this up too. So when you get to the end, remember that this stitch here, that little opening after the post, that's your last stitch. So make sure you go into that guy to finish it off. Now you have your chain left. So for your chain, he says, or <laughs> the pattern, the chart says, two double crochets and a treble into the top of that chain to finish your row. So I'm going to turn up my chain a little bit towards me so I can see that V a little bit. And just poke my hook in. Two loops on your hook. One double crochet, two double crochets, and one treble. So that's wrapping your yarn twice. All into the same spot to finish off this row. So I'm just going to pull up that loop. This is, I'm going to change my color for the next row. So that is the end of row five.